is it? Oh, hello! I'm Fifi Forget-Me-Not. And this is my garden. We're looking for my bucket to put these plant clippings in. Ah, here it is. Thanks, Bumble. Let's take all this to Diggly straight away. <laughs> oh, Fifi, thank goodness you're in. Hello, Primrose. Violet's gone to visit Poppy's cousin, Daisy, in Flowertop Meadow. I told her I'd make our garden look much prettier while she's away. But, um, it doesn't look quite right. <laughs> can you help? Of course we can. Can't we, Bumble? Violet said I was no good at gardening, but I thought it was easy. I don't know what I'm doing wrong. I've cleaned the leaves every day. What about watering? And weeding. I thought I just had to give the plants a bit of a polish. Don't worry, Primrose. We'll show you how to garden. <coughs> Goody! <laughs> Where do we start? Ooh. Ooh. You can help weeding if you like. Anything else? Well, you could do some digging. Perfect. Ah, this doesn't look very clean. I'll just give it a wash. That's better! All nice and shiny. Ah! What's wrong? There's mud on my shoe! You can't garden without getting muddy, Primrose. I know. You can borrow these. Uh, I can't wear those. They don't match my dress. There must be something else I can do. I know. Why don't you go and get some... Oh, fiddly flower petals. What's it called? You, you put it in a bucket. Water? No, it's dark and crumbly. Chocolate biscuits? No, we have to go and get it from Diggly's to make the plants grow better. Oh, do you know? That's it. Compost. Thank you. <laughs> fee, fee, forget me not. Four guts! Compost? Make my garden all dirty with compost? It'll make your flowers grow really well. Bumble and I will finish the digging while you go and get some compost from Diggly. Well, I suppose I could try it. I use it all the time in my garden. Smelly compost. Just the thought. Ugh. I'm a diggly wiggly worm And I like to squiggle and squirm But it takes a little while To crawl a half a mile through the compost in my pile <laughs> I'm a diggly wiggly worm And I like to take my time Hello, Primrose. Um, hello, Diggly. <laughs> Fifi said you might be able to give me some, uh, <clears throat> compost. For Fifi, eh? Don't you worry, miss. I've got some of the best stuff here. Um, uh, what's it made of? Mm, best mouldy cabbage leaf. Rotten carrots? Rotten carrots? Go on, have a snifty. Uh, well, no, no, no. I, I... Oh! Oh! Uh, what a pole! Oh! Smelly! Oh, no. <laughs> I thought you were going to use a bucket, Primrose. <laughs> I tried, but. but that, um. Worm! <laughs> I'm not having a good day! I'm covered in this dirty, stinking, rotten compost! Oh! oh actually, Primrose, you don't smell too bad. But Diggly said it was made from rotten carrots. By the time the rotten stuff turns into compost, it smells okay. Violet was right. I'm not a very good gardener, am I? Don't worry. You can get some more compost from Diggly. I 
don't think he's very happy with me. Oh, perhaps we'd better all go. Nasty, stinky, horrid flower tot. Hello, Diggly! Oh, uh, Fifi, what can I get you? We'd like some compost, please. Who's it for? <clears throat> it's for me. Ah! For her? Covered me in stinking perfume, she did. That was my best rose water. Had to wriggle in potato skins for ages to get the stink off. If she don't like me compost, she can't have any. Sorry, Fifi. Do something, Fifi. Maybe we need to give Diggly a present to say sorry. I've got it, Bumble. Where's my compost bucket? How would you like some nice fresh peelings for your heat, Diggly? Mmm. Always happy to give you compost, Fifi. But I don't see why I should help Primrose. Because she's going to help you collect scraps for your heap. Aren't you, Primrose? <laughs> well, uh, and then Diggly will give you compost to grow lovely flowers. Oh, all right. And no more stinky perfume? No more stinky perfume. garden. I promised to help Primrose and Violet plant some herbs in the garden today. Yeah! Oh, Bumble! Are you all right? Here, I brought you these. Perfect! Oh, thank you, Bumble. They're, um, lovely. Ready to come puddle bursting then, Fifi? Fiddly flower petals. I forgot we were playing together today. And now I've promised to help Violet and Primrose plant some herbs in their garden. Oh, I'm sorry, Bumble. We're splashing some puddles when I've finished. You said that yesterday when you helped Aunt Tulip with her hanging baskets, remember? This time I promise, Bumble. Okay. <gasps> we could have a special picnic with all our food things to eat. That's a wonderful idea, Bumble. I'll meet you on the bank of the stream at lunchtime. See you later. Bye, Fifi. <sighs> uh, fair 
very sad, isn't it? When your best friend hasn't got time for you anymore. She has! Fifi's just been very busy. Anyway, we're having a special picnic together. She promised. Uh, if you say so, Bumble. I do say so. <laughs> oh, I wish we were going on a special picnic, Stingo. <laughs> Don't worry, my slimy friend. We will. We will. I want rosemary by the window. Mint! 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 By the front door! They don't rosemary. make up the mind soon. Window. I'll be late for Bumble's Mint. special picnic. Door. Rosemary. Window. Mint. Door. <laughs> special honey for a special friend. La, 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 la. You follow Bumble to the stream. I'll meet you there. Why? Where are you going then, Stingo? You'll see. <laughs> Rosemary, window, mint, door! I know. Why don't you have a herb box each? One with rosemary in it, the other with mint. Hmm, could work. Yes, it might. OK, we'll, we'll do, do it. it. At last. Now I can get started. Oh, Fifi, they're wonderful. Come in and have some rosemary cookies. And a glass of my mint tea. Sorry, but I promised to meet Bumble for a picnic and I'm already late. You can't break a promise. Oh, Fifi, am I glad I caught you. What's up, Stingle? Bumble asked me to tell you he's had a change of plan. He wants to have the picnic at his house instead. Oh? Why? I didn't say. I'm just the messenger. OK. Thanks, Stingle. Bye, everyone. Bye, Fifi. Au revoir. Bumble, I'm here. He's not here. Hmm. He must have got fed up waiting for me. She probably should be here. <laughs> Hello, Bumble. Oh, no Fifi then? No! <laughs> ah, life can be so cruel sometimes. <laughs> I may as well go home then. Yes, but uh, what about your picnic? You have it. I'm not hungry anymore. <laughs> oh, great! <laughs> I thought he'd never go. Let's tuck in. What if Fifi comes? Uh, uh, she won't. <laughs> I told her Bumble wanted the picnic at his house. <laughs> it's one thing to get a sneaky snack. But to come between friends and make them sad? Well, shame on you, Stingo. Shame on you. Ah, oh, don't be like that, Slugsy. Here, have a honey sandwich. Slugsy? Uh, don't leave me. Slugsy! Something, my slimy friend. <laughs> oh, Slugsy, I miss you. How do you think Bumble feels? He misses Fifi. How can I make things better between us, Slugsy? There is one way. 
But you've got to promise. I promise. Stingo's picnic. Hmm? <laughs> Stingo's picnic. Bumble, Fifi. Oh, hello. Well, this is nice. <laughs> yes. It's, um... Bumble, yes? Welcome to Stingo's Picnic! Your host, Stingo, has a few words to say before we can begin. Stingo! Ahem. It's, um, all my fault. I made you miss Bumble's picnic so I could have the food. Wiggly worms! So, I hope you'll forgive me. And have a nice picnic together. Have fun. I really did remember our picnic, Bumble. I always hoped you would. Ow. Stingle! Come and join us! Oh, I don't think anyone really wants to be my friend. I do. Come here, you dippy wasp. Get off, you slimy slug! I forgive you, Stingle. And you know what? So do I. <laughs> <laughs> Great! I'm starving! <laughs> you see? Everyone needs friends. But you must look after them. Like you look after your flowers. Then just watch that friendship grow. Bye! Don't forget to come back soon. Hello! I'm Fifi Forget-Me-Not. We've been helping Bumble pack today because he's going away for a few days to find lots of pollen to make honey. Oh, I'm so excited! Oh, if only I could fly, I could come too. I know! Why don't you take cotton socks with you to keep you company? Thanks, Fifi. That's a great idea. Uh-oh. Where is he? Have you seen cotton socks anywhere? Oh, there you are, cotton socks. Thank you. Thanks, Fifi. Ah. OK, everyone. I'm ready to go now. It's so lovely here. I wish Fifi could see this too. Never mind. I wonder how much pollen I've collected so far. Would you like to see two cotton socks? Oh, look! This will make the best honey ever. It's hungry work, though. Let's have tea. Fifi made my favourite sandwiches. Honey and banana. Oh, yum! Oh, shame she's not here to share them, though. You can share them with me instead, cotton socks. Yeah, you sit there and I'll sit here. Oh! Oops! One slice of pie for me and one for Bumble. Searching for pollen, so I won't be having tea with me tonight. <laughs> oh, silly me! <laughs> oh, time to set up camp for the night. Oh, I'm not sure I like it out here in the dark, all on my own. I'm glad I've got you, Cotton Sucks. Oh. Wow. Look at all those stars. I wonder if Fifi's looking up at them too. Oh, that night cotton sucks. Oh, that night Fifi. Oh, the 
could that be? Oh, maybe Bumble's come home early. Bumble? Is that you? Morning, Fifi. Oh, hello. Oh, charming. What's wrong? Sorry, it's lovely to see you both. It's just I thought maybe Bumble had come home early. Don't worry, Fifi. I'm sure Bumble will be home soon. Yes. Why don't you come and play at our house? We'll think of lots of fun things to do to take your mind off missing Bumble. Let's go, Cotton Socks. We've got to find more pollen. Wow. These flowers are just what I've been looking for. I wish Fifi could see them. I know. I'll take one back for her. Oh, I love painting. Painting always cheers me up when I'm sad. What should I paint? Paint something that makes you happy. I think I'll take this flower home for Fifi too. And this one. And this one. Oh, Violet, that's so pretty. Oh, well, thank you, Primrose. Fifi, what have you painted? Ta-da! Oh, oh, Fifi! Fifi. Don't you like it? Oh, it's perfect. But we're supposed to be taking your mind off missing Bumble. Let's play worms and ladders instead. Or bake a cake. I love baking cakes. This is great fun. What kind of cake are we making? Sticky honey cake. Bumble's honey. Oh, now look what you've done. Oh, sorry, Fifi. I didn't mean to make you sad. It's okay. I'm fine. Really. That's not Fifi. She's at home. Oh, I think we've collected enough pollen on this trip, Cotton Sucks. Time to go home and see the real Fifi. We're supposed to be making Fifi feel better, not worse. I didn't mean to. I knew we should have played worms and ladders. Uh, Fifi, should we ice the cake? This cake. See, I told you this would happen. We make Fifi miss Bumble even more now. <laughs> now look what you've done! You pushed me. Did not. Yes, you did. Did not ask Fifi. <laughs> Fifi? <gasps> She's gone. Oh no! Now you've really messed up. You mean you did? You did. Uh, it was you. You. Fifi! I'm back! Fifi? Are you there? Oh. <gasps> Maybe she's with Violet and Primrose. What can we do to cheer Fifi up? Let's make another cake. We can't. We've only got icing left over. Bumble! You're not home early! I miss Fifi too much. Is she here? No, but she missed you too. She has? Oh. What happened to you, Violet? We uh, had a little accident with a cake when we were trying to cheer Fifi up. Hmm. Paper, icing and Bumble. <laughs> I think I know something we can make to really cheer Fifi up. Oh, I 
wish Bumble were here. Beep We've got a surprise for you! Hi, Primrose. Hi, Violet. Sorry I slipped out earlier. Oh, we're sorry too, Fifi. So we brought you a surprise. You made this all for me? Take a closer look, Fifi. Helping the other flower tots today, that I didn't get round to tidying up my own garden. Oh well, I'm too tired to do it now. I'll tidy up tomorrow. Who can that be? Hello, Fifi. I was just wondering if you fancied having an evening stroll with me round the garden. Oh, sorry, Bumble. I'm tired out. I really need an early night. Oh, that's all right. Night-night, Fifi. Night-night, Bumble. Wiggly worms. Fifi's garden's really messy. Maybe we can do something about that. <sighs> Is he? Oh dear, I've forgotten where I put my toy rabbit cotton socks. Can you see him anywhere? He can? Oh, there you are. Thank you. Come on, cotton socks. Let's snuggle down and get a good night's sleep. Good night, my cotton socks. Time to close your eyes Sweet dreams be yours tonight I'll sing a lullaby Dreaming, dreaming Dream sweet dreams Good night Socks. Time to close your eyes. Sweet dreams be yours tonight. I'll sing a lullaby. Oh, hi, everybody. Who wants to help me tidy up Fifi's gun? I thought she was going to tidy it up herself. Fifi was so busy helping all of us that she didn't have time. She was so tired, she's gone to bed. Then I think it's time we all helped her. Good idea. Everyone in Flower Tot Garden can lend a hand. Go, go Tots, go! go! Oh, diddly dandelions. Can you get to sleep, Cotton Socks? Me neither. I know. I'll tell you all about my busy day. Thinking about all that hard work might make me sleepy. The first thing I had to do was help Bumble. He got stuck again in the compost heap. I had to pull him out. I pulled and I pulled and I pulled. <laughs> Thanks, Fifi. <laughs> you should really watch where you land, Bumble. I know. Sorry. Come on. Let's get you home. <laughs> Bumble fell asleep as I was driving him home. Ooh, I wish I could fall asleep too. Anyway, what did I do next? 
Oh, yes. Poppy asked Violet to paint her new shop sign and I was in charge of deliveries. <laughs> Look at Stingo's new boots. They're very plain. I'm sure Stingo won't mind if you brighten them up a bit, Violet. There you are, Phoebe. <laughs> Stingo will love them. That must be the flower tot petal shiner and conditioner that Primrose ordered. And this is for Primrose to clean her flower top pots with. Hmm. And Tulip needs an egg and some lemon juice for a cake she's making. Tidying up your garden instead of helping Poppy? Oh, yes. I hope I still have time. But I didn't have time for anything, Cotton Socks. Especially not after all the other things I helped the tots with. Like telling Pip a story because he was feeling lonely? Helping Webby to spring clean her web? And helping clear away blueberries from Primrose and Violet's garden? <coughs> So that was my busy day, Cotton Socks. Let's try and get some sleep. Night, night, Cotton Socks. Hurry up, everyone. You heard, Bumble Slugs. Eh? Put your back into it. Why am I the only one doing the work, boss? Because, Slugs, eh? I am... Shh. Uh, because I am the boss. Oh. Right, boss. Shh, shh. There. These flowers look lovely. What do you think of that nut rockery, Bumble? It's fantastic, Pip. And those oh. lines look pretty too, Webby. <laughs> I can't wait to see Fifi's face when she wakes up in the morning. Maybe you won't have to wait that long, Bumble. It looks like she's still awake. Let's show Fifi her garden right now. OK, honey child. But first, I'll get us all some of my special cocoa and oat biscuits. Stingaling! <laughs> That's more like it. <laughs> Buttercups and daisies. I just can't get to sleep. <laughs> Who's in my garden? to say thank you, Fifi, for helping us all so much. Everyone ready? Oh, what a friend. Oh, yeah. Fifi, our friend. Oh, yeah. She may be busy. Oh, yeah. She may not remember. Oh, yeah. But what a friend. Puts us first. She never thinks about herself. She always tries to please. And sometimes we don't see. Oh, what a friend. Yeah. Fifi, our friend. Did you like our song, Fifi? Oh, it was perfect, Bumble. Cocoa and oat biscuits now, please. I think we should have our cocoa and oat biscuits back at my house. Don't forget to come back soon. Bye. <laughs> oh, hello. I'm Fifi Forget-Me-Not, and this is my garden. I can't stop, I'm afraid. <laughs> It'd be so much easier with some help. <laughs> hey, looks like you got your work cut out there, Fifi. I know, Stingo. I've got so many jobs to do today. 
I was hoping to make a blackberry pie. Oh, blackberry pie. <laughs> mm. Um, how about if me and Slugsy do the jobs for you and you make us a blackberry pie too? Now, that's what I call a flower top deal. I'll go and get my list of jobs. Are we really going to do work, boss? Of course not, Slugsy. I'll think of a way round that. And get us that blackberry pie. <laughs> Here's the list of jobs. Thanks, Dingle. I better get baking. Uh... Oh, 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 look at all these jobs. Slugsy, this calls for a very clever plan. And then. Aladdin rubbed the magic lamp. There was a puff of smoke and out came a genie. Golly goose gogs! What happened next, Wibby? <laughs> Boss, why do I always have to do the dirty work? Shush, Slugsy. I'm trying to think of a plan so I don't have to do all these jobs. But I'm doing them. Maybe a stroll round the garden will help me think. <laughs> huh? What's this? And so the genie told Aladdin that if he ever wanted a wish to come true, he just had to rub the magic lamp and the genie would appear. The end. Wow! I'd do anything to meet a genie. Would you now, Pip? Hmm. Oh, Sting a lamp! Just what I need, Slugsy. A magic lamp. Uh, I think it's an old teapot, actually, boss. <laughs> to you and me, it's a teapot. But to Pip, it's a magic lamp. <laughs> Let's go. Where are you going with that old teapot, Stingle? Oh, uh, we're just uh, taking a tea break. <laughs> Don't worry, we'll soon have those jobs done. <laughs> you know what to do, Slugsy? Think so, boss. Right. Pip! <laughs> Take a look at what Slugsy just dug up. Oh, a magic lamp uh, with a genie inside. Golly, gooseberries! Can I see? If you do a few little jobs for me, you can have it. <gasps> Thanks! How do I know there's a genie inside? Rub it and see. And the genie of the teapot, uh, I mean, uh, lamp. <laughs> Your wish is my... Uh, oh, is my... Uh. You're not a very good genie. Oh, he's been stuck inside the lamp for a long time, Pip. <laughs> He'll be fine once he's stretched his, um, <laughs> leg. I uh, see. Uh, so, what jobs do I have to do? Here's the list. And when I've done all these jobs, you'll give me the magic lamp. That's right. Golly goose gogs. Thanks, Stingo. Was I a good genie, boss? <laughs> you were rubbish. But we fooled Pip. <laughs> Time to put our feet up and dream of pie. Yo. I thought you were too busy to make pies today. I was. But Stingo and Slugsy are doing all my jobs for me. Then why is Pip outside doing all the work? Pip! Why are you doing all the weeding? <laughs> Stingo said if I do all the jobs on this list, he'll give me his magic lamp with the genie inside. Magic lamp? Did this magic lamp look like an old teapot by any chance? Well, sort of. Oh, Pip, it's not a real magic lamp. It's an old teapot. But, but I saw the genie. He wasn't very good, though. Stingo and Slugsy have been playing tricks on you. Jolly goose gogs. There are no 
such things as genies, are there? Now I have to do all these jobs for nothing. Fifi, why don't I help Pip? Then you can get on with your baking. Thanks, Bumble. And after that, we might call up the Honey Genie. <laughs> Oh, I'm angry. Will those jobs take Pip long, Buck? Absolutely ages. Unless he's got a genie to help him. <laughs> <laughs> All done. Well done, you two. You deserve a big slice of pie each. Yummy! Is there really a honey genie in here, Fifi? That's what Stingo will think. Now, this is what we're going to do. <gasps> oh, no! I left another pie in the oven! Fifi, forget the nuts! Forgot! Hi! Pip's finished all the jobs already! And he's eating our pie! <gasps> Oh, Pip, well done. Here's the magic lamp. <laughs> Not a word to Fifi, now, eh? Here you are, Stingo. I promise you a blackberry pie if you did all the jobs. But we didn't do them. Pip did. <laughs> Be quiet, you silly slug. How did you manage to finish the job so quickly, Pip? I just rubbed this old honey pot and the honey genie helped me. Oh, I see. What? Genie? Yeah. Bingo, Stingo. If I had that pot, I could wish for all the food I wanted. <laughs> Pip, how about swapping that silly old honey pot for this delicious pie? <laughs> okay. Yes, I've got my very own genie. <laughs> <laughs> The genie of the honey pot. Your wish is not my command. But, 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 oh, Don, you're my genie. You have to give me anything I wish for. Do I? Huh? Bumble is the honey genie. Oh. He helped Pip do all those jobs, Stingo. <laughs> There's no such thing as a real genie. But there is such a thing as a real friend who helps you out. Oh, rotten raspberries. Come on, Slugsy. <laughs> Let's go home. I think Stingo <laughs> wishes he'd never started his tricks. <laughs> Only hard work gets jobs done. Don't forget to come back soon. Bye. Hello. I'm Fifi Forget-Me-Not, and I'm going to be a flower top babysitter today. I'm looking after Aunt Tulip's pet, Grubby. <gasps> He's so cute! He can't talk, he just squeaks. He squeaks when he's happy, he squeaks when he's sad, and he squeaks very loudly when he's hungry. <laughs> Grubby's always hungry. Ooh, fiddly flower petals. They must have fallen down in the wind. Oh, there's a nice big cake for Fifi and some fruit for her to eat too. <laughs> Don't worry, Grubby darling. Fifi will be here soon. See anything nice to eat out there, Stingo? Not a sausage, Slugsy. <gasps> Bingo, Stingo! I spy with my little eye something beginning with F. Grub? Oh, silly slug! Grub starts with a G. G for grub. I spy food. Yeah, so I was right then. <sighs> Let's see if there's something we can do for Aunt Tulip. Come on, Slugsy. No. Uh, if I could just get that bit there, and I could tie this bit 
Tulip? Oh, I've got a big problem, Stingo. Fifi's not turned up to babysit Grubby, and I'm due at Poppy's for tea. Oh. We can look after Grubby, can't we, uh, Slugsy, old pal? Can we? Oh, yes. I'm not sure about leaving Grubby Baby with you two. You can trust us, Aunt Tulip. Think how disappointed Poppy will be if you let her down. Oh. Just like Fifi's let you down. I suppose you're right. <laughs> oh, Slugsy and Stingo will take you for a little wickle walk. Then they'll give you a nice saucer of warm milk before bedtime. Won't you, Stingo? Absolutely, Aunt Tulip. Bye now, cutie pie. <laughs> Bye, Aunt Tulip. <laughs> Did you hear that, Stingo? Oh, oh Tulip called me Cutie Pie. She was talking to Grubby, not you, you slimy slug. Oh. Right, let's try Aunt Tulip's yummy scrubby cake, Slugsy old pal. But shouldn't we take Grubby for a walk first? Don't worry. I have a plan that will make everybody happy. <laughs> Oh, oh, great plan, boss. Grubby walk while we eat. Result. <laughs> oh, I am a genius. <laughs> there you go, Aunt Tulip. Oh, thank you. <sighs> so, who's babysitting Grubby? Fifi didn't turn up, so I left him with Stingo and Slutsy. Oh, dear. Well, I hope he'll be all right. Macaroon. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Rotten raspberries. Slutsy, quick no. That little crab has chewed through the rope. Oh, no. What will Aunt Tulip say when she comes home and finds out that we've lost Grubby? Hey, wait. She'll never know if we find him before she gets home. Quick, let's look for him. Grubby. <laughs> nice Grubby. Grubby. Here is the Grubby. Come to Uncle Grubby. There we are, Fifi. The last beans planted. Oh. There's something very important that I've forgotten to do, Violet. Uh, we put up the string. We planted the beans. <gasps> Biddly flower petals, I remember. I promised Aunt Julie Pup babysit Grubby. Oh, Fifi, forget me not. Oh, God. I better get over there right away. <laughs> I've come to babysit Grubby. Hey, Aunt Tulip left us in charge. Where is he then? Gone! Oh. Gone! Gone? Yeah, gone uh, for a walk. What's that? Stingo invented it. Grubby walked round and round and round trying to catch the cake on the end of the string. Poor Grubby. I don't think you looked after him very well at all. Oh! Well, at least we turned up to help when you were late. You're right, Stingo. Come on, let's look for him. I'll look this way, you look over there. Grubby! Grubby! Grubby, where are you? Can you see Grubby? He's behind me. I can't see him. <laughs> He's there again. I can't see him anywhere. <laughs> there you are, Grubby. <laughs> Come on, let's get you home. You must be tired. Hello. <laughs> oh. <sighs> <sighs> 
was. Fifi found Grubby. <laughs> oh, good. I'm fed up with running around in circles looking for him. Well, now you know how poor Grubby felt when he was running around in circles chasing after that cake. Oh, sorry, Grubby. We shouldn't have done that to you. <laughs> Come on, Grubby. Settle down in your blanket. <laughs> Go to sleep, my baby. Close your pretty eyes. Mama's here beside you, listening for baby's cries. Oh, Fifi, you did turn up after all. Oh, Aunt Julie. I'm so sorry I was late. I was planting my beans and... Uh... <laughs> there, there. Tell me all about it tomorrow, Fifi. Go to sleep, my babies. Close your pretty eyes. Mama's here beside you, listening for baby's cries. The great big moon is shining. Stars begin to peep. Time for pretty babies to go to sleep. Hush. Hush. Don't forget to come and play another day. Night night. And I'm off to a meeting at Poppy's store. Hello, everyone. What's going on? We're talking about Stingo. He's had the absolute cheek to ask all of us <gasps> to let him live with us in our houses after all the tricks he's played on us. I see. I wonder why Stingo needs somewhere to stay. I better go and see. The rotten raspberries! A wasp's home is meant to be his castle. Where am I going to go? You can stay my damp and dingy hole, boss. Slugsy, I'd rather sleep on Diggly's compost heap than in your damp den. Stingo? Is there something wrong? Something wrong? <laughs> See for yourself. <laughs> I say, Antonia, any more lollipops? Plenty, Anthony. And try the chocolate. It's absolutely delicious. <gasps> um, ah! Buttercups and daisies. <laughs> <laughs> and they're eating all my secret stash of goodies. Don't eat stuff. Get off me! <laughs> Rotten raspberries! I can't stay here being invaded by creepy crawlies! Uh, Fifi, can I stay with you? Please? Oh. 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 All right. But only until you can work out a way to get rid of the ants. Stingerling! Come round later, Stingo. I need to get the place ready for you. What about me, Fifi? The ants might invade my whole nest. I've just made the cauliflower cheese with extra maggots. OK, Slugsy, you can come too. But you must both behave. <laughs> we will. Wasps on her. Lovely jam tarts. Hello, Fifi. It's your new lodgers. Come on, Slugsy. <laughs> Ooh! Something smells good. Don't go to any trouble, Fifi. Just a cup of tea and a few of those um, jam tarts will do for now. Stingo, have you thought of a way to get rid of those ants at uh, your house? I, oh, oh, ants. Um, shifting ants is a tricky business. Could take ages. Isn't that right, Slugsy? Hey. Yeah, uh, so we might have to stay here quite a while, Fifi. Especially since none of those other <gasps> rotten tots will let us stay with them. <laughs> um, 
they must have it in for us. Can't think why. I can. What about all the tricks you keep playing on them? Tricks? Us? Name one. Chomping geraniums. What about the time when you tried to scare the petals off Primrose and Violet? Well, that was just a little joke. Oh, I see. So what about when you tried to cheat when you raced Bumble round the garden? Slapsy, <laughs> 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 it. it's time for our secret plan. Leave it to me, boss. <laughs> so long, Bumble. <laughs> uh, uh, that. Um, just a little uh, misunderstanding. Oh, yes. Well, what about when you both tricked us all that Pip had flower top spots? I suppose you've tried mopping Pip's forehead with a wet hanky. Oh, yeah, uh, no, actually. <laughs> it always helps with bad flower top spots. Oh, oh right. <laughs> Good idea. <laughs> <laughs> Look, the spots are coming off! Did that happen? Because I never had flower tot spots in the first place. Oh. It was just a trick. Stingo promised me a big lollipop and gave me his walkie-talkie to play with. Oh, <laughs> the boy's still ill. He doesn't know what he's saying. <laughs> it was just a little fun. Yeah. <laughs> it was just a trick to get lots of food. A wasp's got to eat. No harm meant. Really? And you didn't mean to be rude about Primrose's flowers, I suppose? Time for fun! <laughs> Evie will simply love these flowers! No, she won't! They look like a great big bunch of rotten cabbages! Who? Who said that? <laughs> Time to go! <sighs> OK, OK. I admit it. I am sometimes a bit... <laughs> naughty. Exactly! That's why the tops don't want you to stay with them, Stingo. How can I make them like me, then? Oh, I know. You can invite everyone round for a party. Mm. I'll go to Poppy's stall and buy lots of lovely food. <laughs> Brilliant. You may be a slug, but you're no mug. I'll throw a party. <laughs> no, I won't. Not with all those ants around. Oh. Stingo, don't eat that jam tart. I've got an idea. What a bore. There's nothing left. Maybe it's time to move on to the next party, Anthony. Maybe it is, Anthony. Oh, my. <laughs> I say, Mr Wasp, any chance of dropping that jam tart? We're awfully hungry. Now, listen. You can have this jam tart if you stay away from my house. And I might even bring in a few extra goodies from time to time. Is it a deal? It's a deal. <laughs> Bingo, stingo. Time to party! Yay! Woo! Me and Slugsy just want to say... to say... Sorry for playing tricks on you and... Can you please be our friends? Oh, well, I always want to be a friend to everyone. Oh, oh yes. yes. Oh, 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 it's oh, me. <laughs> <laughs> A ling. So let's all enjoy the party! K 
can I have the first dance, boss? <laughs> oh, get off me, you slimy slug! It'll be great if Stingo and Slugsy stop their tricks from now on. I wonder if they will. We'll see. <laughs> Don't forget to come back soon. 